Hey everybody, welcome to Tuesday Night Festivities KB here, Karen Bryant with you. Uh, this is episode number 25 for Tuesday Night Festivities. Uh, we are uh, going to be talking with Kevin uh, Lee, you know, maybe. Uh, I'm not going to lie, <laughs> right off the bat here, there is a little bit of a hiccup, um, a last minute thing. So he may be joining us later on the after party. He may be popping in. It's kind of, it's going to be a kind of a... Of a, of, a, of, a, of a surprise if and when Kevin can pop in during this one, but if not, he may join us on the after party. Yeah, so here's the thing. We're going to take a lot of questions from you. I also, I have a whole list of stuff that I want to talk about. I'm prepared for, for several topics of conversation uh, that I want to cover tonight, uh, including uh, Jamal Hill's knockout from the other night. Ooh, wow. Oh, oh okay, I'll, I'll take this. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, speaking of fantastic ground games, the one and only 27-time Jiu-Jitsu world champion, Mr. Hinato LaRanja. Hi. Ah. How are you? Oh, look, I'm well. Look, you cut off your forehead. I do, I know I have to, but every time you come on, then I get, I have to reset this thing. Because it looks one way when it's just me, and then it looks different. Listen. My nose is really itchy all of a sudden. What does that That's mean? What, uh, uh, Uncut cocaine can do that. <laughs> it's not. Um, you've been sniffing it cocaine. You've been sniffing amphetamine for her. I really have not though. Have you? I have you seen the way I'm built? I don't think so. Oh God! Oh, oh. <laughs> you've been checking. <laughs> what? No, the way you built. You've been. You've been uh, sniffing uh, gold medal flour. Yeah. Oh, totally. them cakes. You've been <laughs> sniffing. Uh, oh. Something good, country gravy powder. Hey, my cousin just just popped in. Uh, your cousin, yeah. your female cousin? No, he's a guy. Oh, Sorry. God, are you? Uh, Savan. But listen, that's my. Uh, oh, that's Pedro my Munoz, Casca Grossa. Mm, God, are you? Nice, love him. Well, I was letting people know. So, hey, if Pedro wants to pop in and say hi, he should. I was letting people know that there's a slight hiccup and Bobby might not be joining us until the after party. Um, he had uh, a situation. Bobby? I mean, I mean, uh, Kevin, sorry. Oh, all black guys is look alike to you, huh? I see. No, Kevin, Bobby, Jamal, <laughs> Lee Hoy, Lafonso, Tarek, yeah, DeAndre, Lamont. Mm. Yes, Lamont. Oh, carajo, la mancha. <laughs> How are you, Renato? What's new? Mm, what's new? I mean, I'm having a new lease on life for him. Do you really? You do, Why? You, you Listen, look well. and you, you feel look, energized. You Listen, look healthy? I am healthy. And for the first time in years, I'm healthy. You know, I got to be honest. I've been... I've been coasting with my health and my, just my, my general well being. Mm -hmm. I've been coasting for, I mean, somewhere around 10 years. I've mm -hmm. been just like, ah, eh, who gives a fuck? You understand? Mm -hmm. Like, ah, eh, what, whatever. The apathetic about it. Cause you know, when you get the gravy, you get the, the spoils, you know? Yeah. You, you, you and you realize you can you can get the phone chain you can get all that stuff without having to look good or whatever right you don't need to try that hard yeah but then eventually you start going to yourself the fuck am i doing here you understand like uh, so, something happened to me where uh oh god are you somebody is wearing a hardcore child support shirt you mm, i i appreciate that one um now you know funny enough look i'm wearing the fruits and vegetable uh hoodie here nice i see that's nice and low oh yeah you mean with that don't get don't get distracted from this one um well but look at you know i will say you know though if if i'm honest yeah it does seem like your decision to reclaim your 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 you know joie de vivre and to like get back into it yeah. Does coincide with you starting to hang out on Tuesday nights with me. Oh, caray. Now, now, it have nothing I'm to do with I'm just saying the timing well, you know is. Why? I'll tell you why. You know what happened? 
because I started to see, a, because, what, ah, you, are you? what are you doing? Never mind what I'm doing. Hold on. Um, I started to, yeah, you're right about that because I started, when I started working with you, I started feeling like a, like a, like a hand-packed husband. <laughs> and I said to myself, what? if I don't combat this and check this head on right now, I'm going to be in an early grade for her. You're going to put me to an early grade. You're going to have me tension. You're going to have me drinking. So then I'm having the labanza, the spare chai. Yeah. I'm handpacking you? Yeah. I'm not handpacking you. You're a chicken. You're a chicken head and you're also a, a hen, a mother hen. And a chick. You're a, a, yeah, you're a mother chicken hen. Chicken hen. Ooh, a chicken hen. That's even worse. Yeah. I have uh, to keep that chicken hand into its place. Okay. Uh -huh. And okay. so anyway, no, but I'm going to say something. So I was not treating myself. I wasn't taking care of myself in the way that I need to, to take care of myself, to feel, you know, um, I was getting um, uh, complacent with, ah, I'm getting older. Who gives a shit? Whatever, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And then I start to say to my, I see all these cocky guys, honey, hound, and trying to take the throne, you know, mm -hmm. from Hanach and talking shit and, and thinking that they're so fine. Like people like a Kevin Lee with the curls and stuff like that. <laughs> like a Eric Anders. A lot of these light skin brothers has come up and they're getting too cocky. They're getting too, too cough. They're getting too comfortable okay. in my absence. Okay. And so they should have let the sleeping dog to fly. Max Payne Griff. Now, yeah, Max Payne Griff's another one, but he shows the proper respect. But um um I, I i said to myself now i'm not gonna let this to stand i gotta show them what the fuck time it is here and when they see me in the the heel form the hanach you know what also a good point somebody put a vinnie magalash here um i was starting to resemble vinnie magalash so much that it was disgusting me you i was starting to look a fan no. around the gills and now i started you're... to feel like like people was confused me for Vinnie Magalesh. They said, hey, Vinnie, could I get an order? And I said, you better get the fuck away from me real quick. Now you're starting to resemble Vinnie. You're out of your mind. I, I don't know if we're talking about the same guy. Listen, you're barking up the hung tree, uh, uh, Cam Branch. Don't dig yourself into an early grave for her. Okay? Okay. Look, okay. Pedro Munoz, just come on here, <laughs> fucking guy. I know. If he Come on. An, an, yeah, if he, as soon as he sends an invite. But okay. That's um, the Punisher. I know. So, okay, okay. So, what are you doing to, with this? Have you, have, have you been getting out more than with this? Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you? Well, you want to know something? My key to my success? You ever seen Empire Strike Back? Of course. Okay, well, first of all, the easy thing is, you know, cutting down the fucking stupid calories. Like, I was buying frozen pizza from Trader. I was eating, you know, like from Trader Joe, even though I don't eat the meat and stuff, I was get the fucking vegan pizza and eat fucking three of those, you know, watching the TV, you know, and, and going like, ah, I'm active, whatever. You know what I mean? And I wasn't giving a fuck. I wasn't paying attention to what the fuck, right. uh, calories, yeah. whatever. So right. now just paying attention to the calorie and then also the drinking by my fucking self. Gotcha. Yeah. That is almost the main ingredient. That adds up. For sure. Because I'm I'm not a blackout drunk. I'm not a I'm not a get sloppy drunk at all. I don't over fucking do it. But my problem is too many fucking days in a hole where I would be drinking every day. Yeah. To a certain extent, even if it's just a few beers after a long day, whatever. Yeah. But when you're drinking every fucking day, a it make you fat. It make you puffy and fat. Yeah. Okay, and then B, it make you feel, it make you feel, uh, you know, yeah, like when you wake up the next day, you're like, ah, uh, God, are you? And so it was a, a cycle of that. I got into that and, and I, I got so far away from what I used to do. You know, I used to be the guy who was push the limits and try to, you know, push the other guys in the class to, to yeah. get, you know, look, you, the young guys, I'd be like, look, I'm older than you. You can't do as many burpees. I was that guy. Right. 
then to the guy who's like, ah, who gives a fuck, you know? Right. So right. now I'm starting to he discover the the self of myself from before. Okay. Um, and That's I good. enjoyed that one because it made me to feel good. It made me to feel. But the only problem, the only side effect, Karen Branch, yes. is that now. If I was worried that people would treat me like a piece of meat before. Mm. Oh, now it's even worse. You can forget about that one. Yeah. Um, yeah, when I'm walking down the street, it don't matter. Also, I live near the, the West Hollywood. It don't matter. Guys, girls, everyone see like a pork chop, like in the, um, you know, in the cartoon when they're in the desert. I mean, not the desert, the, 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 uh, the island, they, they stranded. And the yeah. guy looked at the guy, he's turned into a pork chop. I everybody see that one as the point. Yes, of course. Um, and I want to be left alone sometime. Yeah, I, I I want someone to like me for my mind. Um, yeah. anyway. Well, tonight you can have some. I uh, you're not drinking alone. I'm having some of my shoddy wine. Oh, God, are you shoddy? Shoddy. Oh, you drinking that good wine. Now, by shoddy. the way, shoddy. By the way, one I'm gonna put an asterisk next to this about the drinking. Because even if I'm not drinking now, I'm just have a coffee. But if I was to drink it right now, I would consider that drinking with someone else. Right. Which I allow myself to do. Right. The problem is I don't allow myself to watch the fucking UFC by myself and drink it. I don't yeah. watch it football and drink it. I don't watch a movie and, and, and have, a, have a nice uh, brandy, whatever the fuck. I don't do none of that because I want it to be a treat for her. Gotcha. But... Let's talk about your wine, Karai. That's a shouty. That's that sh shouty venue. That shouty. I mean, we did. You know, we we did some uh, some pictures for the ad campaign. Uh, I saw day. that one. Now people like the, to see that stuff. You're letting you you you're spreading your cheeks to and fly. I like to see the wind beneath your cheeks. Well, yeah. Okay. I like to think I'm like you know like a bad middler and Deborah Winger or whatever, yeah. I feel like I can be the wind beneath your cheeks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like, I didn't use that one. That's an extra one I had, but like, you know. Oh, God, are you, you're opening that one with your vagina. <laughs> oh, my God, no. But they're like, yeah, like, you know. But uh, so, you're some, oh, yay. Uh. But, but it, here's the thing, um, folks. It's, uh, it's, it's not real. <laughs> Some people. Why are you? You know what? You you wanna? You're the type of person to tell the kid that Santa Claus isn't here. You you really got a lot to learn about people. It's it's not real yet. We'll make it happen. Yeah, but you gotta fake that one till you made that one. Yeah. Um, to but me, the it's heal. Is pretty, to it's me, pretty, it's heal. It's hot. Shout yeah, it. Shout it. Because now that you drew that, it's like a vision board. You know, you're gonna yeah. have that. And then you're gonna do a, a a vineyard in where's your vineyard in 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 Watts or <laughs> or you're in like East Orange? It's like or uh, in the, it, yeah, the vineyard would be in um yeah yeah Hotlanta outside of Hotlanta or something like that. There's hat. There's hat. Shawty. You let do you let your daughter? Speaking of your daughter from last episode, do you let your daughter to drink your shawty wines? <laughs> no. Wait, are you the type of parent, back to that parenting stuff, are you the type of parent that will every once in a blue moon let her to taste a glass of wine at Thanksgiving or something? Oh, for sure, yeah. I okay. think I asked okay. her if she wanted to taste something and she didn't want to. I remember my parents letting me taste beer and stuff. And you're and at first you don't like it anyway, so. I was know. a fucking disaster. You know, this is the reason why I'm kind of believing in he and Carnage, because I remember not only did I want it to, when I was like five years old, I was trying to like, I wished that grown women would be my girlfriend. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And I would try to try to like, think that I had a shot with them and stuff. And then on top of that, like if I went to, you know, a lot of time, you know, my parents, like it, it, they split up early. So, you know, sometimes they, they um, like take me out separately to a party or an event or something like that. Mm -hmm. God forbid they was to took me to a party or a bar or something like that. I would be trying to cajole every adult into letting me drink the, the hard alcohol. I'd yeah. be like, come on, nobody gives a shit. Let me try have a chance. You know, and, and it's like, why did I want it so bad? I was, I was desperate to, to do what the adults was doing, you know? Yeah, well, kids, you, you know, yeah, that's just it. You just want to taste it, and it's because you're not supposed to have it. That's why you want yeah. it. Yeah. 
This guy said Melo is the best. Haven't you seen Sideways, Poha? I ain't drinking that goddamn Melo. No, but you, you know what, though? I, I think that, that because of that movie, I think that movie did to Melo what Wayne's World did to Stairway to Heaven. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how they were in the, in the fucking um, guitar center or whatever? Yeah. That he started to play Stairway to Heaven, and then the right. guy goes, and then he shows a sign, he goes, no stairway. No stairway to heaven. And then it became like, everybody like, ah, yeah, fuck Stairway to Heaven or whatever, because right. like, I think like, look, Melo's okay. It's not it's not sophisticated or something like that, but God, I you, it's not bad. I mean, look at it. It's just easy drinking. You see, easy drinking. Yeah. Why not? If people like that, like for instance, uh, uh, we know some people that like to drink, you know, shitty light beer or whatever if that's what they like that's what they like well i don't gotta drink it but yeah. if you want to drink it i'm not gonna scoff at, at you you can have whatever the fuck you want you can have well, a seltzer water for all the argument. cool thing is, is shoddy is only three bucks oh because is that charles shoddy is that what that is the sh now here's my question what the fuck are you doing drinking a charles Shaw? uh you're supposed to be drinking uh uh charles uh, uh schwab uh, why you not? Why you drink the cheap shit? I thought you got your 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 shop at Barney, your shop at Saks, uh, Fifth Avenue, and I then you drink shop Charles Shaw. I don't know why it's here. I don't even drink that shit no more. I have better wine behind me, but you know what it is. You know what that? I'll tell you what it is. You know, wait before you uh, f finish that one. That's the kind of wine you drink if someone invites you to like a shitty play. <laughs> and then like at, at, at halftime or whatever, they give you a wine. And then you're like, oh, God, are you? Ooh, that heavy, that sting, the, that sting, the, the senses. See, I don't think it is. That, it, I don't know why. I think I had it for that, like to take to like a, I don't even know. It's not even from a take to thing. You know I what? Know. Someone so had like, a good you know point. You, you, do you know how you make, um, what do you call it? Uh, sangria with the... Good. Yeah, with cheap fucking head but wine. That's what I'm saying. To, to, that's what you I'm like, saying. You, that's like a wine or stuff. You're drinking a Chablis. Um, no, but it was for listen, like a pair. You like, you a like hippo. Um, wait, what was I gonna say? Um, about the head wine. Uh, you. Why you drink that one? I don't know. Anyway, the other thing, the reason, kind of like you were saying, you don't want to drink alone is I never feel like I should open a good bottle of wine because I'm like, oh, well, I'm just sitting here. You never like, know if you're going to pass away tomorrow. Drink the wine while the, make hay while the sun shines. No, her. you're right. I need to do that. I have a thing up on my fridge that says, don't postpone joy. I need to yeah. listen to my own. You don't advice. have to, 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 to drink uh, uh, Marcini and Hasi Asti Spumanch. You, you, drink something nice for her. The fuck you waiting for? You're right. Okay. An engraved invitation. You gotta treat yourself nice. If you don't treat yourself nice, who the fuck else is going to pour? You're you're right. Turn the light, your uncle Hanach, but uh, you're right. Nobody's treated me to anything, so uh, you're right. Yeah. I need to treat myself better. You're 100 percent right about that. Um, okay, so I was telling people um, before you got here, uh, we were talking about Bobby Green, who you know was a guest on our show before. Yeah, uh, Bobby Green. What do you what do you think of him turning around right away? And, uh, uh, and I love it. I couldn't love it anymore because it's a win win situation. If if he get beat, okay, which of course is a possibility. Yeah. If he get beat, it's like um, all that does is it boost up. What, I can't even fucking remember how to say his name. Mah Ma, um, Islam Mahachev. Say again. Makhachev. Islam Maga. Makhachev. Or just say Makachev or Makachev. Islam Mah. Islam Hayak. Makhachev. Islam Hayak. Makhachev. Islam. Makhachev. Islam. Makhachev. Hachev. Hachu. So now, listen, never mind. Uh, so what the fuck was I saying? Um, you got me off track. About Bobby Green stepping Bobby up. Bobby Green. So now if Ms. if Miss Lam Achachev beat uh, Bobby Green, everybody's just gonna go, oh wow, this guy really is the second coming of ha uh, Kabab uh, Muhammad, Muhammad Ali. Oh, Khabib Nurmagomedov. There you go. 
they're gonna just say he's the next that guy, okay? And they're gonna go, well, Bobby Green's great, but just boy, this guy is really that special. But if Bobby Green beat this fucking guy, which he can't, he potentially could, boy, do that throw Bobby Green into like this renaissance of like, you know what happened to Nate Diaz? You know when he beat Connor? Mm -hmm. Like Nate Diaz was not even on the radar at that point in his career. You remember? And mm -hmm. it was kind of like the stars lined up. Yeah, and he had this like second act of his career that was catapulted him to superstardom, you know. And I pray that that's what happened to Bobby Green, as a a a a a, a fellow color gentleman. He is Bobby Green, and I'm a Laranja. I get what you're saying. What you're saying, yeah. Well, he's 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 an incredible fighter, and I agree with you. It's like. The renaissance for Bobby, I think, is a, a wonderful thing. You know, he was a guy that for a while was like losing fights and kind of getting decisions, right? And it was kind of weird. And, you know, but then he started getting more finishes and things and getting more wins in a row. And he's yeah. got a lot, of, going, a lot going on. Yeah. And it's like people started to notice him, like you said, yeah, that he, he was under the radar for a lot of people. And then all of a sudden you start putting that win streak together. And it's, it is kind of like, oh, people start noticing and he keeps beating people. And then when he beat our boy Al, Aya Quinta, who was also a guest on the show, another great true, guest of ours. True, yeah, yeah. Um, we've had. Yeah, it's guests. like it's not unlike yourself. It's like you, you, you. At a certain point, you was kind of nowheresville or whatever, and then you you align yourself with me, and then God, voila, everything starts to open up for you now, God, I do. Well, I mean, I was an anchor. I've been an anchor for the UFC for a long time now, so no. I don't know if I can say nowhere. Huh. I mean, okay. Uh, but now, okay, you was here. Now you're superstardom uh, after you 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 piggyback onto me. I, I will. Or what say they this. call the coat chair, huh? I will say this. I think um, you're you're helping me show people a different side of my personality. I, we want to see the, yeah, we want to see a different side of your personality, the backside for her. Show us that cheeks. You 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 you're stingy with the. You know what you're like? It reminds me of myself because, you know, um, you remember the soup Nazi? Of course. Well, I'm kind of like, they call me the dick Nazi because a lot of women want that one and I'm like, no dick for you, Poha. You know, unless you act right. But you're kind of like the cheeks Nazi, if I'm honest, Poha. Don't want nobody to have that one. You're very like, no, you're not going to get that. But I'm, I can be that way. I can be very stingy with my dick if, if people is not careful. They try to what? act all sedity or whatever, and then I, they try to act up, and then I go, nope, no dick for you. And then they go, please, God, I, you, uh, let, let me get back on, on to the, no, nope. No. I, I don't, I just don't, I don't believe you. Oh, well, hey, I don't, a lot of people don't believe in, in um, a lot of stuff, but it's the truth. Okay, okay, so did you happen to see over the weekend um former ufc fighter mike perry's bare knuckle fight with uh Jordan oh I, okay so i didn't saw the fight i didn't saw the fight but i saw the what okay continue go ahead no i'm saying he bought he fought julian lane yeah okay um yes he fought that guy i saw all the highlight but i didn't saw it when it was happening but to be honest i thought that um you know, I mean, even though Mike Perry uh, won, I thought he was going to win even more decides. I thought he was probably going to knock him out. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm surprised that he went that he went the distance for him. You know, when I saw the matchup on paper. Right. But Julian's a tough son of a gun. Oh, uh, absolutely. I just always thought that Mike Perry was just a cut above him, you know? Uh-huh. But that's my miscalculation, you know? I mean, he is, obviously, he won the fight, so he's probably bad a little better but i th i thought that he was going to be more better than him than that you know well one so thing i was impressed uh with with uh julian with you know let me bang bro whatever yeah well i think one of the things that that they were talking about that i think for, you know could have played into it is the fact that yeah julian has done that more often right and so he's That's got true. like a little something how to recover from that kind of a fight, how to take a punch and kind of like 
You know what I mean? He could maybe just sort of handle himself better in there. That experience in a bare knuckle fight might have been what kept him in the fight even longer than he should. True, have true. I can, I, I, I'll buy that. Yeah. So I think that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, but did people, did anybody else, were you guys watching it at all? Did you guys watch the fight? Um, Kendra Lust said that she's, uh, she saw, they she said that match. Julian won. Oh, God, are you? Wait, yeah, uh, it was come close. on here, uh, Kendra Lust. Come on here and, and debate this with us, please. Yeah, it was close. And um, help me to help me to um, get uh, her Karen out of her uh, shell and to start maybe to seeing mm. some women, maybe to releasing the cheeks, See, maybe to I'm getting into release. maybe to getting into Tantra, or at least let your uncle Hanaj to to get into some Swedish, some Afro Swedish I'm, massage for her. I'm not gonna free the cheeks. The cheeks are not. It's not gonna happen. So the the cheeks ain't free, huh? Come on. No, I mean they can I be gotta, quite costly. I've got to, you know. I, I you know, I, 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 every now and then I'll put a little picture out with showing a little something, not but not like, you know. Did you did oh. you um uh, send uh, Kendra uh, um an invite? I can't send an invite. Oh oh sorry, Kendra, I, ask her to yeah. uh, let you on yeah. here for her. Um, and then she gonna we're gonna we're gonna debate some of this stuff. Um, okay, so uh, okay, so um, okay, so another another fight though that uh, that I wanted to ask you about um, is um, speaking of of sexy and all that. Um, Austin Vanderford makes uh, a lot of sexy pictures with his wife. Oh, Paige Austin Vanderford, yeah, he got a, uh, he so a lot of Van sex. So Mr. Van is uh, is fighting my buddy Gegard on By Friday. the way, by the way, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, aside from that, he's fighting your your your, your homeboy. Um, I have to say about I I hoot for. Um, usually, I'm like ugh about the relationships and stuff. Mm -hmm. Something about the way that they uh, approach the relationship, the two of them, um, 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 Van Zanch and 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 Van der Poich, um, You're sweaty from your workout. No, not a sweaty women. Ugh. Not a uh, no. We don't want to see you if you swatch. Uh, we don't want to see your sweaty hair and your sweaty glistening onto you, into here. Yeah, you hate that. Oh, I can't stand that. You see, please, that's, don't punish your uncle Hanash like that. Um, and don't worry, we can't smell you from here. We, we're just gonna pretend you smell like a sparkling Perrier or whatever, F Fiji water. Um, so anyway, I love the way Van der Foch and 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 Vincent. Um, you see, the kids call sex positive or whatever. They're not acting like it's a dirty stuff. They're like, we're two adult. We like to celebrate each other. We like to fuck each other. We like to have a good time, you know? And it look like it's fun what they do. It's like the only relationship I see out there that look like they're actually having some fucking fun, you know? And they really like, um, I don't know. It looked like, I, I, I just look at them and go, they, they look like they're having a blast for her. So I, 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 I I'm, I'm all for it, Paul. Yeah, I'm not mad at them at all. I think they're cute. I'm not yeah. mad at them they're at young, all. They're young, they're healthy, they're, 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 you know, two chop athletes, strong, sexy yeah. folks. I met him uh, when he was, when I was working on one of Chael's Submission Undergrounds. And, you know, because I had already known Paige from UFC stuff. Uh, but that was the first time that I had met Austin up there. And he was really nice. And yeah, they were so cute yeah. together and everything. In fact, not, in fact I, a while back, I did a, um, I was on a podcast on that MMA host podcast, and mm -hmm. um, he came on when I was on there, and uh, over the phone, mm -hmm. and he and I was giving him a hard time about you know about you know Paige and that you know she wishes that she was with me instead, and you know uh -huh. I hope you have a heart attack or whatever the fuck, and this fucking guy couldn't have been nicer and whole with the punches, and right. was you know he just let me to enjoy you know. Yeah, and that was a good sign. I was like, you know, this fucking guy got his ego under control. Yeah, you understand? I mean, that that was a good. He got points. He got a lot of points with me for that, you know, Agreed. because I didn't know him from Adam before he was with her, you know. Yeah. But since then, I a lot of people like to make it like he's Charm Arnold. Of yeah, right, right. No, he's got his own but thing going on. But the fucking thing is. Fight. I've paid attention when I watch his fights now in in yeah. in, in, in Bellatrix. This fucking kid could fight. 
Dude, he's fighting for the title. So I understand. Obviously. That's what I'm saying. But clearly, you can say Mr. Vincent all you want, all that kind of bullshit. This fucking kid can fight. He's yeah. tough as nails. He's, he's got endurance. He's got skill. He's very tough. Now, having said that, do I think he's on the level of your, home, your, your boy? I don't believe so. He hasn't proved that yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know that he's had it for that. You know, I think it's going to be, I don't think it's an easy fight, but I don't, I don't know. We, we shall see. But, um, but I sure do his, I do respect the fucking guy. Yeah. Well, I agree that, um, that Austin is talented and that he definitely has a, a lot to offer and that, you know, well, because you've seen his, you've seen the only fan you've seen a lot where he has, I have not seen that. Yeah. You'll see his, you see his Johnson. I specifically actually not looked. Uh, oh, give me a fucking break. You I've not either. looked, I swear, hand to God, I've not looked at their for their uh, video or whatever. You don't want to see his schwanz? You don't like to look at the human schwanz? I didn't say that. I just, I, I just don't, I don't, I guess I don't. Where, where do you don't line up? Uh, uh, like, whatever, I guess. I got a question now. for you. I got a question okay. for you. Not, maybe I am usually help you with sex advice. Hey, my I, brother's here now, too. Oh, now you are you now not gonna you're gonna clam up now? No, not at all. Okay, well, hi, hi to you, brother. Yeah, he's the artist that do the music. Yeah. Yes, the music okay. for our show and stuff. Yeah. Thank you, my brother. What's his name again? Dane. Dane. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Dane. Yeah. Um. So wait, what the fuck? Oh, I was gonna ask this, and I don't know what um determined this, but some women is like um. They find the human penis to be, listen to me for a second here. I'm saying something serious now. They find the human penis to be the image of that one to be attractive. You know, like in the way that maybe a man look at, at, at chitties or the way I look at an ass and I go, oh, God, are you? I see the beauty on that one, you know? Mm -hmm. Some women is look at the human penis and they get like, it make them crazy, you know, they like that one. Then some women you can tell, it's like, if it's not during sex, I don't wanna see that one. You understand? <laughs> what do you think? Do you think it's arbitrary? Do you think it, it, it do you think that the, the various women, uh, um, it, maybe they had an experience that led them that way? What, what do you think contribute to this? Okay, I can't believe we're talking about this, but Why I'm not? part it's, of it it's is a part of life for her. Part of it is how it's presented. Oh, you mean you want to you want me to put it next to like a dried flower arrangement and like some? No, it's just that like there's you know I there's some famous or whatever meme about how you know girls when they sell like sell nudes and stuff like it's some beautiful picture and we're like being all sexy and you guys are just like here's my meat. You know, and it just doesn't. But, okay, fair enough. However, now I know there's a lot of women who feel that way, and I understand. I'm not. I'm not um, saying one is hide or harm. Okay, I just uh -huh. know from experience that there's certain women about. Mm, yeah, maybe half the women that I've experienced, half uh -huh. the ones is like how you describe, and how Kendra Lush just said. I don't. Nobody want to see no hand on penis, all that shit. Okay, yeah. I understand that. Fair enough. Yeah. Now, half the women aggressively want to see you dick. <laughs> okay. And I have no problem with that. Like, um, they and 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 then when you send that one, they 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 excited about that one. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. Go, oh, I like it. It turned them on. No, no. Hold well, on, it hold depends on. on how you feel about the guys. Okay, fair enough. But I'm saying, there are the women who do like me and feel attracted to me who would not like to see. Who would only like to see my dick with me and us together in person you understand right. which is fine too but i noticed like i could be chip toying a hound with a female you know blah blah, uh -huh. blah. and then she's like you got you know like she's trying to give a hint or whatever and she's like look let me see the goddamn you know or some some shit like that and then i laugh i go wow it's funny how night and day and you can't tell why like some some is just highly attract to the look of a penis. You understand? Uh, yeah, I do, I do understand, but I do. But I would say it also has to do with how you feel about the person attached to it. True, I, I get that. However, it's not as if these girls who is he quests the dick 
pick like me any more than the ones who would prefer to only experience so in person. You send you send them though uh, out regularly. If I'm attract enough, and if I feel like the person is is, you know, kind of subtle enough, like if if I feel like there's a chance that we probably could meet at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? God see, Kendra I, agrees with me. Yeah. See. Yeah, and I again, I'm not. Um, this is not a thing where I'm a, agree or disagree. Right. I'm, 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 I'm wonder if you guys have some insight about the ones who don't. Like, for instance, I'll give you a. Well, perfect, oh, I'll give you a perfect example. We're raised. They're kind I'll, of. We're, we're I'll give you a perfect was example. It was you know. Perfect example. I know guys who is heterosexual, okay. Uh huh. Who you can tell, even if they don't want to admit it. You can tell, like, if they see a vagina, uh -huh. they're like, ooh, ew. You understand? Like, yes. you can tell they don't truly love a vagina. You understand? Right. It's I the kind understand. of guy that would, like, eat your pussy because he feel like he's obligated to do that uh -huh. versus a guy who's, like, grab you and throw your fucking knees over his shoulder. And you know what I'm saying? Uh, is this a sore subject for you, Poha? No, uh, I just. Um... Well, no, and some some of these guys, you know, they complain. It's like, oh, you have a host beef, or it look like this, or it look like a predator, or whatever. And I don't want if it have your hair. Oh, you, blah 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 blah. But then if you got a guy who loves pussy, he is like more for me, Poha. He's put the bib on there. You understand? And I'm also, yeah. one thing I noticed, it seemed to me, if I'm honest, no, not always though, but sometimes the one who want to see the dick pic uh -huh. is the one who is like, get off by giving at blowjobs. You understand? Uh -huh. So like uh -huh. she a true kind of sore of a blow, you know, a blowjobby. Whereas maybe the other one is like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do it because it's kind of part of the deal. Like give uh -huh. somebody a massage after they give you a massage, whatever. But uh -huh. the ones who is truly like a dick kind of sore for her. You understand? Anyway. Uh -huh. Anyway, let's talk about uh, children's programming or fucking um, yeah, heating handball or something like that. Because you, you, it looks like your toes is curling on, in, your, in, your, Little bit. in your shoes. Okay. So what, what, what happened uh, l lately? God, um well uh on that same note though yeah. um have you seen and what wait what time is it I don't okay know. Seven, seven, have you seen um uh, on netflix the tinder <laughs> swindler speaking of guys and girls getting out and like taking advantage or like going for this or whatever uh, so the Tinder swindler. Oh, the Tinder uh, swindler? Yeah. No, I'm not so, hip to that Tinder swindler. It, okay, so if people, if people have seen it, I would like to, to hear the, their comments on it. So basically, it's this guy that would completely, you know, bilk girls out of hundreds of thousands of dollars that he met on Tinder. And these four women would fall for it pretty quickly. And I was kind of shocked at how quickly some people would be like, sure, I'll hop on a plane with you and like, here's my, you know, right, whatever. Yeah, I think like, the fantasy. It's sad because I know like if you, if it, I, I know, I understand why you would believe it. Like it would, it, it'd be, you want to believe it, right? So I, I'm yeah, not saying, I'm fantasy. not blaming the women at all. I'm saying this guy's an, an a-hole for what he did. But it's Well, it's you know what? Fantasy. This guy is doing, you know, it, it's unfortunate because, because a lot of guys, Look, I may be the way I am, but I don't advertise anything different. Right. You understand? Yeah. A lot of guys know that that's a life hack. If you are scumbag enough and you uh -huh. don't mind being dishonest and you don't mind hurting people's feelings, uh -huh. you can sell a woman very easy on a fantasy. Yeah. And that's the sad part. And that's why, you know, I've seen this more than a few times where I'm have like a, um, a, a, a 
kind of an open he let or like i'm dating someone and we, we we're able to see other people whatever it's kind right. of like how it is you're not exclusive then eventually she put the she put the 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 kibosh she put the the clamps down and she go like this look I, I, we gotta you either gotta shit or get off the park kind of thing you know well, well hold on no there's nothing hold on i'm not done yet for her so now she kind of putting those kind of fresh and then she go like this she go listen i met joe blow okay <laughs> joe blow is telling me that he's willing to be with me and only me and he want to go to them okay so now uh um she's give me the choice like listen i had a view with you but if you don't want to do what you got to do i gotta go to job blow and then i'll go like this Hush! and i go carajo okay now the funny stuff is i will then see job or even job blow might be someone i know or knows people i know yeah. now i know that job blow is doing worse than i'm do only the difference is he's tell her i love you you're the only girl for me here's your chocolates here you flop but he's doing the dirty stuff and the more dirty stuff just he just sell her the fantasy now i'm the type of guy where i don't snitch so even though i could blow job blow out of the fucking water i go mm -hmm. she gotta find that one out for herself it's not my business no more yeah. you understand but i see that so many times where i go See, you look at me like I'm a scumbag because I'm gonna tell you the fucking truth. But you had a, you had a, have the fetch, the fantasy. Well, because we've been quote unquote, you know, taught to to believe in the fantasy of stuff. Exactly, like but he he teach yourself some different shit. You know? Yeah, well, but it was, yeah, I just it would, it seems to me, like yeah, like very clearly too good to be true, very obviously right away like to me you know it seems like and i don't have a lot of like dating experience but it seems like it's pretty obvious like that, that it can't it's too good to be true yeah but you know that fantasy is so strong you know what it's like money stuff why is it so easy to to con people out of money because it's so enticing like what i can shortcut this shit I can get the fucking shit that I've been wanting all my fucking life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you're so like, oh, God, are you? And they, they take advantage of, of that. Like we want But he didn't do it like that. He's like, oh, I'm in danger. My enemies are after me. And I, they had to freeze my credit card. Can you just loan me 30 grand just for two weeks and I'll pay you right back? Oh, like, yeah. No, no. I'm saying. Is that kind of stuff? No, no. I got you. It's, what I mean is this, it's two different stuff. He's conning these. He's using love as the carrot right to con them out of their money but i'm saying usually the people is very similar to people con people out of their money using the promise of money oh for sure a so, shortcut it's the a, same a dynamic yeah. where for sure you you now thinking i'm gonna be in a whole new tax bracket i'm gonna be i can finally get some of the shit that i never thought i'm gonna have i could quit this fucking job i could do and it's those fantasy, like, oh God, are you please deliver me, cow gun, yeah. take me away for her. You understand? And then totally. now, you, 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 then you, you turn off your better judgment. Yeah. You know? And yeah. it can happen. Look, we, we, even though we like to think we're so fucking smart, everybody have Achilles heel. You know? Mm -hmm. Everybody have a way. Just like we all, people think they can't be triggered. You know, a lot of people like to go, you a snowflake, you. You triggered much or whatever, but they have just as many things that trigger them. It's just not the shit that trigger that person, you know? Of course. So just like that, we all have our our, our vulnerabilities, our stuff that, you know, we might be chuffed in one way and then in another way, someone can can sneak in there and, and check mm -hmm. it match, you know? True, very true. So, well, you know, listen, listen um, uh, I just want to take a pause to let people know that, um, Kevin Lee was supposed to be with us and he had a thing that came up. So he's potentially going to be joining us on the after party. And we do the after party at 815 over on YouTube. There's a link for the after party in my stories. And also, if you just go to the festivities website, festivities.com, there's a link for it over uh, on the festivities bio. You'll see a link 
uh, to get there as well. Let me just double check that I put that there. But anyway, Hinato, um, before we uh, get out of here, I wanted to ask you about a show. Um, and I'm curious what your take is on it because I believe last <laughs> night. What? Somebody just hung Kevin Lee, long penis. God, are you? <laughs> Just what Kevin Lee, long penis. I don't know why that made me laugh. I'm, I'm like, sorry. Why is I didn't that mean funny? to cut. It just got me. It, 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 it chickled me, me. It chickled me funny bone for him. Okay, yeah. See, there's a link. If you go to festivities.com, there's a link. Look, I gotta get I, I was gonna get my nails done today and I didn't I didn't have time. I'm gonna go tomorrow. But uh there's the link for the after party right there. That's on festivities.com. So you can go over there or you can just look for the link in my stories. But so Hinato, last night. I saw the um, the season finale of season two of um, of um, uh, the uh, the Righteous Gemstones. Fuck! I, I, I'm a little behind. I'm like, oh no! I I'm maybe. Me. I'm like maybe. I know. I got I got uh, fucked up because I watched a couple other stuff. So I watched the fucking stoop the Cosby shit, and that got me off onto a whole thing. Um, I watched. Um, what? Oh, you know what fucking derailed me from that, too? First of all, Peacemaker, but you, you don't care about that stuff. And then the other one that fucked me up is I, I got, I dove into Succession. Oh, well, that's amazing. I already saw that. Succession's phenomenal. That shit, okay, so you know what I didn't understood about that show? I didn't realize that basically it might as well be the, oh, good night, Kendra Lust. A um, comedy? We're going to be lusting after you uh, in your absence, Paul. Um, yeah. it, it's every bit as much a comedy as fucking, um, For sure. you know, uh, 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 gemstones as or any of these fucking shows. It's just, it just don't wink, wink at you. And God, are you that fucking guy who plays charm? Amazing. It's like a comic genius. It's amazing. It's, it's the movie. So, I mean, the show is so good. And Adam McKay is behind it. Who he is yeah. a comic genius. And so, yeah, it does. I mean, these a, people is such a piece of shit. You know who's so fun. Oh my God, they're the worst. You know who's are, growing on me though? I gotta be honest. When I first started watching it, the main, um, now I can't even think of his name, uh, 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 Kenny, Kendall. The main yes. guy He's so good. was probably my least favorite character. Yeah. Uh, um, even just as an actor, I was like, well, he's one note, whatever, you know? No, I, didn't he's care, great. I didn't care for the guy. I don't want to ruin anything for anybody, but let's just say after after he started uh, in getting getting back into his old ways from before, uh -huh. he was trying to. And I saw a different side of him as kind of an actor, you know, and a character. And I yeah. was like, this guy's funny, and this guy have a lot of curveballs. You know what I'm saying? Like he he had a lot more than I thought he had in the in his in his in his. Uh, you know, in his tool bag for her. And I, I, he started to really grow on me for him. Well, apparently he's quite the method actor. And so he doesn't on set, there, there's like, there was some whole story in the New Yorker or whatever, I know we're getting kind of highbrow here, uh, about the show. And apparently there was a lot of things said and some of the other castmates were like, you know, sometimes Kendall's he takes kind it of pain, a pain, little pain, serious. But, and, whatever uh, it takes, though. Whatever no, it takes. No, he's amazing. I yeah. agree. He's fantastic on the show. I I think the show is incredible. It is very funny. Because um, Holman, what's his face? Culkin yeah. is yeah. So good. now Holman is the easiest one to love from from episode one. You know, so yeah, of course sure. he have the most like, is the most flashy part on the show. But Tom is brilliant. Tom is like oh. Tom oh, Wamsbaugh, yeah, Wamsbaugh. that fucking guy, and his accent. When I found out he, the guy was British in real life, yeah, that blew my fucking mind. Ex and he, but I watched. I noticed one thing. He have one flaw that he fucks up his accent. One thing. And I noticed it the other night. He said the word weekend, mm -hmm. and he said weekend. You know? Oh, yeah. We like, never say it like that. He pronounced the end part the more end, than the, the and that. Right. Was, but that's the only flaw. I go, oh, I got you. I saw you. But yeah. he's fucking great. And then the other chick I can't believe is 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 um, Shiv. Shiv is awesome. First of all, she's Australian. Sarah Snook. Yeah, she's, she's fucking Australian. Australian for her. And let me she's tell awesome. you something. The talk about cheeks. The cheeks on this fucking girl. 
and she was in that dress when, like at that in a party before the marriage. And the white one in, in Italy? Yeah. yeah. And the, the oh, I want a door boy. Oh, I yeah. love that drive me crazy because she's not like a model kind of, but she's yeah. drive you crazy. Perfect example. I remember when we were talking about Zendaya, who looked like a piece of arch or whatever? Yes, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. And beautiful. then you have someone like uh, Shiv, who make you want to go, uh, you know, like who make you want to go, who do you want? Who do you? And, and just, Gah! you know, understand? I want to tackle I that fucking woman, God. I... Right. Okay. All right. I mean, yeah, I love it. Uh, so, so. So you haven't, so you, you binged all of Succession? No, 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 no. I'm just in the, I'm like, I'm like on episode 10 of the first season. Okay, gotcha. So, gotcha. but I, 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 I slept on it for a long time. Just, you well, know why? Yeah. Because sometimes I get a little, ex I have like a rebellious uh, streak where uh -huh. if everybody's talking about something, Something in me just go like, ugh, like, F yeah. oh god, I, I can't stop talking about that bullshit. But then I can't shoot myself in the foot because sometimes I miss some really good stops, you know. Uh, I agree. And with then you. this is I, one of those, you know, like, look, there's no way around it. It's a good show for her. It's an incredible show, yeah. it, and that's the whole thing. Is like, yeah, you're you're only doing yourself a disservice yeah. by not watching it. It's, and I it's saw fantastic. it early on. I saw the first episode early on, but I tell you what happened to me. It, I knew it was good but it made me a little like, they grossed me out so much. I was like, I'm not in the mood to watch these disgusting people. You understand? So I had right. to wait till I was kind of in the mood for the, for those fucking people. You know? I hear you. Oh, yeah. I hear you. But well, but the thing about it is, is yeah, that they are though. So it's so well acted um, that, uh, you know, yeah, you can't not like it. Oh, oh and, and, and the dad, what a hateable fucking human being, you know? Oh my God! Though he's he's the worst. Yeah, he's the worst. I mean, you really want bad stuff to happen to that fucking guy. Um, yeah, okay, yeah. so, oh, God, are you bearish? This guy's claimed that I'm his father. That uh -oh. may be the case, but not no support for you for her. No <laughs> hey, financial okay, so, backing but, from your uncle Hernandez. Okay, so so yeah, so it's um. But so so you will finish Righteous Gemstones. So when I finished Righteous Gemstones, I then decided, did you watch the White Lotus? That's another one everybody keeps talking about. Okay, right. So the White Lotus is one that I didn't watch before because I didn't have HBO. And so as soon as I got my HBO back, because I used to have uh -huh. it and then I didn't have it because I moved and then I have it again. So I didn't have it. You watched so too cheap. First... No, I didn't need it and I was doing stuff. And yeah, I because get... you had stars because it cost like a little bit less. Probably. I didn't have I'm stars. Kidding, I I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I didn't watch that. No, much you have the epics. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't. I, I, um, I, I just didn't. I didn't watch that much TV. I had Netflix, so that's all I need, and Amazon Prime or whatever. So that was like, yeah, whatever. I got what, enough because I don't watch that much TV. Ah, Coach but anyway, Casey, I, I'm hold on, Coach Casey. I'm gonna come back to Vegas. I'm gonna be there March. Ah, God, are you March, Maybe like March 19 or something like that to do the the next uh fucking um uh, uh high haulers. So I will be out there for him. Okay, anyway, I'm sorry about that. I nice. have to show the his back uh, to, to coach no, Casey. But so I, um, uh, 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 so I <laughs> Someone got death to Brazil. Oh, God, I... <laughs> Thank you, my no, brother. Huh? So, I, so once I got my HBO back, the first thing I watched, though, was Insecure. Because you are course. insecure, poor, huh? Um, about some things, yeah, 100%. Um, but it's also a great show. <laughs> You know, that's another one I haven't fucked with. And uh, I probably should, but I, you know, there's too many stuffs. And you know, it, it's like, um, yeah. It's great. Well, anyway, I started, I did start watching um, The White Lotus. And so I'm like two episodes in and I'm like, um, I, it's okay. I think I kind of want it to be better, but I don't dislike oh, it, but I'm- I've I only heard good stuff about that one. Uh, we'll see, I, I like, I, I, I like it more than I don't. I'm saying I heard, I'm hoping. I heard your boy Steve Zahn is good in there. Oh, he's great. I've always liked him. He's always a scene stealer, that guy. Well, referring to one of our earlier topics tonight, um, uh, he, he, yeah, there's a big reveal. Let's just put it that way. 
Oh, he have a vagina? He does not. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Well. Um, but yeah, okay. So well, I was just curious. So what so then you're gonna so you're gonna keep powering through succession? I don't know if you're gonna power through that one. I gotta be careful because I'm the child. This have happened to me t with a handful of show, great shows where uh -huh. I binge them too fast. Like I watched the first season in like two days. Right. To the point where it's like, I'm gonna wanna puke. You know what I mean? Like I OD on that one. Right. So then now I go, oh, I need a fucking break from that one. Mm. And then the break lasts so long that I feel like I'm like, fuck, now I gotta start over maybe. And then I just never go back to it. A perfect example. Peaky Blinders. I, I watched like two seasons of that one and it's so fucking good, but I I stuffed my face with that one so much that I was like, ooh, no more fucking Peaky Blinder. Now yeah. I'm so lost from that one that I don't even fucking remember what happened. You know what I understand? Yeah. So I gotta pace myself a little bit with these shows and not not all D on that one. You know? Yeah, because that's it's, I, it's I hard understand. to do. You get addicted to that one. I'm the child right. who will watch it. Who will just press that next one and go next episode next <laughs> next and then the birds is right. chirping and the fucking sun is coming up i'm that bad oh really yeah oh i'm like I don't get... you know with video games people do that with like a you call of duty or whatever yeah, and all that kind of bullshit. Going. you just keep going and you're in a trance and you're like uh, uh, you know it's like a crack you're like i need the i need to find out what happened the next one next one next one you know yeah i'm trying to think what show i got like it if I could watch all of Killing Eve all at once, I would. I don't um, even know what the fuck that is, by the way. Well, that show's fantastic, and it's about to come back. So that's on the, the Oxygen's Network. It's on AMC, and, and yeah, it uh, sounds like some old fuddy duddy uh, old lady. No, it's not fuddy duddy at all. It's fantastic. Yeah, it and is. Chick is hot, and Sandra Oh is amazing in it. And Never it's mind, so Sandra good. Oh. Anyway, um, but yeah. So anyway, uh, folks. On a lot of the time over on the after party, we talk even more about movies and stuff like that. So there was a couple of things else that I wanted to ask you about over there. Um, for example, Hanato, think about this. I wanted to know uh, if you had to, st like, what's on your playlist to, like for your party starter songs? Like a guaranteed song where everybody goes, oh, okay. We're gonna, uh, we're getting it started. So okay, think about, think about that shit. Think about that because I put, I called up like I, you know, on a playlist today and I was like, hey, you know, so and so play this play this playlist, and like this, the first song that came on, I was like, oh, that's a perfect party starter song. That's like it. It was as soon as you heard it, you were like, okay, okay, <laughs> we're doing this. You know. I mean, there's a number of that ones. Yeah. Okay, so sure. think about it for the after party. Okay, for the okay. after party, um, and um, so there's a link for the after party in my stories. There's a link for it on the festivities uh, uh page over there here on Instagram, just in our bio. Uh, go to festivities.com or you can see it over on YouTube and we start there in just a couple minutes. Just takes me a minute to process this and uh, fire up the old hamster in the, in the, in the, what do I call it? Hamster in the treadmill. Mm, in the hat wheel or whatever. Um, okay. I'm going to see you uh, in just Yeah, and hopefully Kevin can bit. make it over there. He's got the link. Hopefully. How Kevin long you need for him? Huh? Um, I just need about five minutes, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna take a piss. I'm going to have some water, maybe a snacks, make a couple phone call, some email, uh, and then I'll join you. Okay. Okay, folks, thank you so much for joining us here. And um, thanks to my public, to my adoring public, how are you? I, I, even the guy who called me who said he wish I'd get shot, you fag, or whatever he said to me. What? Yeah, somebody said that. And then also the one who said, I hate Brazil. I still love you guys. What? Why, why would people say such things? Because they would need some attention because their daddy didn't give them attention when they was young. And then now they need from their uncle Hanach. Because guess. at the end of the day, if you don't like us and you're not, you know, wanna, you don't want to see us, you're not going to be on here anyway. That's right. That's right. But yeah, we, we, yeah, we start over there. We actually might make it on time tonight and not do it's 807. And the thing is scheduled to start at 815 over on, on, uh, on YouTube. So we might make it exactly on time. So hurry up. What are you doing here still? All right. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, you guys. Okay. And, ciao. Um, I'll see you guys in a couple yeah, minutes. All right. We'll see you. We'll see you.